If you fly the DJI FPV Quad, you can now change from this to this with Master Air Screw's brand new props. Stay tuned and we'll check them out. So if you're new to the channel, I hope you'll hit subscribe because we do a lot of fun stuff with DJI FPV and other types of drones. Now, of course, this thing is a very high performance machine and it goes at a very fast speed doing all kinds of aerobatics and tricks and stuff like that. So having your propellers really be um, top notch is pretty important, I think, when you're flying an FPV quad. It'll fly with some pretty beat up props and I have some pretty beat up props that I still use in a pinch, but I'm really excited to see these because they're slightly different from the original DJI uh, propellers. Now, I'll tell you, these have a number on them and that number is 5432. And I found out that what that means is that if you go from one end of the propeller across the diameter, so we held two of them together and measured, that is 5.4 inches. And 3.2 is how far this thing will travel on one revolution uh, in inches as well, so 3.2 inches. So it means that if they're spinning really fast, of course, it's going to go really fast in a few seconds, but each time it turns, it's gaining 3.2 inches. That's a slightly higher pitch and slightly bigger prop than the original DJI propellers, which are 5328, which means they're 5.3 in diameter and a 2.8 pitch meaning they give 2.8 inches of lift for every revolution. So now if you take a look at these things, let me go ahead and pull this one off here. Uh, you will notice, it'll be hard to see in my hand, but I can show you, uh, I can show you a close-up, that you can see it's just ever so slightly bigger in diameter, as well as thicker. The Master Air Screw props are just a little bit thicker. They have a little bit more of this wing that comes out. And so they're also more rigid, significantly more rigid. These don't have a lot of give to them at all, whereas these are fairly flexible. I just love the look of this. I love how this thing looks with different colored props on it. And they come in orange, this light blue color that we'll get out in a second, a red, and there may be other colors too, I don't know, but these are the ones I have right now. I'm excited to get out and fly with these and see how they affect the performance, how they feel, if I can tell the difference. I have used some cheaper aftermarket props before. I really only bought them because they came in this cool case and I wanted the case for my props, uh, which I still use. I got rid of the actual props and, and just use the case now for my DJI props. But um, these are not cheap aftermarket props. Master Air Screw has been making propellers for quads for quite some time, as I noted. And so I expect these to perform as good or better than the DJI uh, props. But ultimately, if they perform just as well, I'm happy with that because they look so friggin' cool. Let's go try them out. All right, so I've come out to the field. It's a little breezy today, uh, but I think it'll be fine. The DJI FPV is kind of a beast in the wind. It's solid and heavy, so we should be okay with the breeze. Gonna fly first with the actual DJI props, the stock props that it came with, and I've got a set of them that are in excellent condition. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think these are all brand new. If they're not, they're very close to it. And I'm gonna fly maybe half a battery with these first just to get a feel for it in this uh, breeze and see how it feels. And then I'm gonna switch over to the uh, master air screw props and see how that feels. Okay, taking off with the DJI FPV props. I'm gonna fly everything in manual mode just to keep it consistent. And here we go. And of course, you know, the DJI props were built for the DJI quad, so they feel pretty darn good. They roll just fine. They flip just fine. That poor flip was uh, was not because of the quad. That was just me having not flown this guy in a while. 
kind of re-getting used to it. I am seeing a little bit of uh, jitter in the signal, but I think that is uh, a function of how windy it is. And also, I think that gets stabilized in the actual video, like you don't see that in the recording. Right here you can see that you can see the props in the shot with you know if you have the certain angle on the on the camera and the uh, master airscrew props are even a little bit longer just slightly longer than these and so you pro and brighter colors so you're probably going to notice them even more uh, if props in the shot bother you then you know be aware of that now when you tilt the camera up like this and you fly a little faster then it becomes less of an issue but if you're flying slow with the camera tilted down you're gonna see those props All right, nothing crazy here. Again, it's pretty windy today. It seems to have picked up since I started flying. I'll fly this battery down to 50% and then come land it. Yeah, there's a big gust of wind. Okay, let's throw it into normal mode. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, I don't like to land this thing in manual mode because it tends to bounce when it lands and flip upside down, so normal mode is a better way to land it. And there you go. All right, I got my original set of uh, Master Airscrew props for the DJI Mavic Pro, and they were these bright orange ones. I'm a big fan of the bright orange ones, so that's what we're gonna do. And these are also brand new, haven't been flown yet, so you get a good sense of what they fly like. Now, as I said before, these are a bit longer and they have a bit more angle to them. Uh, so they should actually give us a bit zippier flight. Yeah. Um, Yeah, these have a lot of punch. I mean, the quad flies very similarly. <laughs> Definitely makes some noise. At least in acro, if you're zipping around pretty hard, it's gonna... It's gonna be loud. Didn't quite make it all the way around that uh, clip. I mean, I did eventually, but it wasn't very smooth.
I really don't feel a lot of difference between the stock props and the master air screw props. They feel pretty similar. But again, we've got some wind going today, so that's a little bit of a challenge for any propellers, I think. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around, throw it in normal mode. Now again, there you go, in normal mode, you're definitely seeing the props. And it's feeling that wind. So what are my thoughts on the master air screw props on the DJI FPV? I love them. I think they look fantastic. I think they fly really well. They give you a little extra zip. Um, I wouldn't say they're quieter by any means, but this drone was not designed to be quiet. This drone was designed to rip and make some noise, so I wouldn't worry about that. And the geometry of them is just so really modern and cool looking. I actually prefer it to the original ones as far as the way it looks, the fact that it is more visible in the air with these bright orange props or whatever color you put on it, and the fact that this thing does punch out a little faster with these things on. If you're looking for replacement props for your DJI FPV, I highly recommend these. I think they're a good value. I think they're very sturdy. They're very well made and they're gonna give you years of service and you can get them in these cool, cool colors like the orange, the blue, the red. It just gives your drone a little bit more personality. Love to hear what you think about Master Airscrew, especially for the DJI FPV. Leave a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.